Hey everyone, AG Berserker here with Soul Calibur 6. Always gotta be dramatic about it. It's just the law. I'll make up the rules. Actually, I do, but you know, it's fine. Anyways, we left off with Nightmare, now we're on to Siegfried, who has been unlocked. Huzzah. Come on. Wow, we're really kind of like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 13. So I think once when we get to uh, Geralt, Geralt, whatever his name is, uh, I think that's when we're going to start doing voting. So at least, you know, in that sense, I can kind of think about what I'm putting in this spot, but I have some ideas. Regardless, let's check out Siegfried's story. Anyway, Siegfried 1, Nightmare's true face. The Azure Knight, previously known as Nightmare, the former wielder of Soul Edge, who brought the world to its knees. In truth, he was first a knight named Siegfried. After killing his father by accident, Siegfried fell into a deep denial, which eventually twisted into a desire for revenge against his father's imaginary killer. To enact his revenge, he needed power, which led him to Soul Edge. Turned into the sword's puppet, he became Nightmare, until losing in battle to Killick. When the sword was shattered, Siegfried found himself awoken from the strange spell he had been under. Though freed from Soul Edge's grasp, he now had to face the fact that it was he who had killed his father. On the ground to his side lay the shattered remnants of Soul Edge. Siegfried too, beneath fate's thumb. Unable to cope with the weight of his crime, Siegfried tried to abandon what was left to Soul Edge. However, the evil sword was so closely tied to his fate that it would not relinquish him from its grasp so easily. His cruel reign as Nightmare was not forgotten by any means, but one after another, warriors began to appear before him, intent on taking their revenge. Ooh, talk shit get hit, Siegfried. お前がナイトメアにそういないな。どうした答えられるのか。違う。俺はナイトメアじゃ。見苦しいぞ。同胞たちもこのような輩に倒されたとあっては報われまい。我が復讐。ここで果たさせてもらう。You done hecked up, buddy. <laughs> but we'll do our best and help you out, okay? <laughs> so now you're kind of free from its grasp. Not really, but at the same time, you kind of messed up, dude. Your hubris as a young boy really messed you up, my dude. I'm kind of just a retelling of the calendars, too. I'm assuming, like, I don't know because I didn't play Zazimel's story. I'm assuming Zazimel, like, uh, came, like, back in time or whatever to kind of fix things. That's what I'm assuming, anyways. Also, because, like, ah, oh, I saw how shitty so his kids are. We're gonna have to kind of fix this, aren't we? <laughs> uh, we'll get to that when we get to it, right? Right. Anyways. There we go. <laughs> Got him. You win. Edgy wins. Yay. Kunna Kotoka. 
いつまで続くんだ俺は悪夢から逃れられないのか You know, someone in the back yelled out, Take a shot. He said, Nightmare. <laughs> God damn it, I'm suffering here. No, take the shot. But, but my pain. Oh. <laughs> anyway, Siegfried III, the unexpected savior. Wandering aimlessly, Siegfried ended up crossing swords with a woman who declared she must destroy Solich. Though she claimed to be a purified soul, his deep rooted evil gnawing away at Siegfried was too strong to be cleansed. Nevertheless, their meeting would prove necessary. Impetus for Siegfried to bow. Face his sins and atone for them. Siegfried IV vowing to atone. Soul Edge could not be scratched, let alone broken by a normal weapon, to assure the sword would never fall into the hands of another. Siegfried decided it would need to steal away somewhere totally isolation. However, such a place is not easily found. Meanwhile, every time he struck down another challenger to sought revenge against Nightmare, Siegfried feared he was in danger of slipping back under the sword's control. Dun -dun -dun. Nightmare. ついに見つけたぞああ俺がナイトメアだお前の復讐を果たすがいい言われるまでもないわ覚悟してもらうだが俺もここで倒れるわけにはいかん Man, this is everywhere Siegfried goes He's just trying to get rid of this soul edge crap Everyone else is like, nah, brah, you got, you got to fight me. And it's like, no, I don't want to. <laughs> oh, Siegfried's having a rough one right now, y'all. <laughs> it's good enough, though. Jimkata. Woo! <laughs> so I'm thinking I'm going to actually do a screen tonight. Um... And it's gonna be on Twitch, so come hang out. I think if it works out, I'm gonna be doing um, some Tekken 3 on Beam. Because <laughs> I found my old Dreamcast disc uh, to play Tekken 3 on the Dreamcast. I'm gonna do a test to see if it works out. First, like, it just on my own sort of thing, and if it does, we're in. We're in. We're gonna enjoy. I'm playing some Tekken 3 on the Dreamcast. It's not intended. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's very funny thinking of that. <laughs> hmm. Go from the uh, decent uh, PlayStation controller to uh, <laughs> freaking Dreamcast controller. I can already feel my wrist stiffening up as we speak. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> so yeah, come hang out. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> 
俺だ再び悪夢に飲まれるつもりはないこれが俺の罪か重いものだ Siegfried V, an arduous journey. Not all who stood in Siegfried's way were hell-bent on revenge. Time warped souls appeared to draw an evil soul edge. Though it wasn't Siegfried's goal to do away with these twisted individuals, neither were they the types of whom he could reason. Oh, he's gonna have to fight some lizard men, probably. <laughs> oh, and the malfested! Are you malfested? <laughs> Oh, he's gonna sniff you, Siegfried. Run. Oh, なぜ俺がお前の正体をナイトメアと言い当てられたかわかるかな悪いが見当がつかんな俺が以前お前の手足となって働いていたイビルだからだよマヌケ随分探したんだぜ大将よお前の探していたナイトメアはもういないぞ
邪剣を破壊したあの剣あの剣があれば Siegfried 6 Spirit Sword Beckons The Evil Sword Sword, sword Edge <laughs> Okay, the evil soul edge was growing stronger each passing minute. One day, Siegfried heard the ethereal voice in his head speaking directly to him. Responding to Siegfried's desperation to save his own city, he began how the spirit sword, Soul Caliber, was calling out to him. But the sound of things, the blade will also need to help itself. Hmm. Plot thickens. Still stuck in the forest. Siegfried, stay strong. <laughs> All right, let's freaking go. <laughs> we got this. Oh, Siegfried Seven, the mental realm. Ooh, going in his mind palace. The moment Siegfried gripped the sword, the sword's hilt was dragged into the mental realm. There, he was surrounded by images of the times he fought nightmare and then lost. So, kind of appeared before him and watched as if it was swallowed up by the strange dimension. I was solely devoured by evil. Siegfried, fight it, dude. You gotta. Kukua. <laughs> You're so evil, Nightmare. Nightmare, why are you so evil? Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> had to do it. <laughs> oh, I'm silly goose sometimes. I love it. Love being a silly goose. All right, let's do this. It's like the big old. Oh, look at his jerking hand. It's bad. Oh, we're in the time space realm. Woo! Nice. Set that off, but you know I'll take it. Do I got infinite of that shit? Oh, amazing. That's all that matters. <laughs> They want me to win this like big time. One more. One, one big one for the road. Oh, no big ending. He's like, oh, I whiffed. whiffed it. See me whiff that? I didn't whiff that though. <laughs> That's a good counter. <laughs> What you got? Oh, shit. Okay, wait. I got a big old buddy here now. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize I had to fight uh, Mr. Inferno. That's pretty cool. Inferno was in the scene back, actually. Classic. Big old asshole. Got him, almost got him. 
Go, we got him. Beat him with sick breed. He fought his evil. Uh oh. Prevented it. Damn. So he just goes into oblivion. No the one knows what happened to him. And he prevented it. To the two swords That's crazy. Into the very and Siegfried, you did your best, buddy. We know what you did. We know what you did. You did good, my friend. You did good. Anyways, everyone, on that depressing note. <laughs> This is Edgy Berserker signing off on Soul Caliber 6. Until next time. Oh, you know what? I'm kind of excited that we're going to be getting to Valdo soon. We got Sophia still first. But we're getting to Valdo soon, which means, uh, yo, I want to know what happens with this guy. <laughs> Anyways, until next time, I will see y'all later. Bye now.